Get this figure and more at Hobby Link Japan. What the fuck? Hey, my name is Jabi, and today we're taking a look at the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Batman. It's been a while since I've talked about our dear Dark Knight. And for those of you who don't know about Batman... What's wrong with you? Out of the box, you get a lot of... stuff. And the back of the box features a few classic Batman quotes, such as... Snacks at this hour! This all just reeks of English, I love it. And I love this... I won't jump the gun just yet. This iteration of the Cape Crusader is part of the amazing Yamaguchi subline of Reveltech, which happens to be the line that the Reveltech Spider-Man I reviewed belongs to. From what I can see, amazing Yamaguchi figures are characterized by sweeping dynamic lines, exaggerated proportions, especially for the men, and a crap ton of posability. All these aspects and more are present in the old bat here. I'd even go so far as to say that the sculpting done by Yamaguchi Katsuhisa, the namesake of amazing Yamaguchi, is truly... Gucci. The painting's also really good. There's a clear Jim Lee influence on this tactical, more grounded take on Batman. What with the seam lines on the suit, the mechanical panel lining on the gloves and the boots, and the famous disc ears poking out of the cowl. I love you, Jim Lee. <laughs> and other than his chin not being as big as I'd like it to be, the head sculpt is fantastic. While I do prefer the classic scowl, you do get the option of replacing it with an equally well-sculpted clenching face. The box's words, not mine. The only issue I have with this Batman design is the last of black underwear. Why can't superheroes wear underwear on the outside anymore? Cowards. That and the cape is HOLY MOTHER FUCKING PIECE OF SHIT! Batman. This fatal car crash of a cape looks more like an orgy of bats than a solid piece of fabric. Huh, maybe that was the point. Even the promotional images for this figure didn't try to hide the fact that this was a complete Cluster cut. I should mention that Kyoto tried a similar thing with the Revel Tech Darth Vader, and that looks just as good as it sounds. Crap! But for a well known drama queen like Batman, this bombastic and stylized cape works. Look, I know what you may be thinking. How could I stand to even look at this thing without feeling five different migraines at once? Well, if you realize it's comprised of six identical stems and four identical nubs, things become much easier to process. But then you take it all apart and realize there's a potentially infinite amount of ways you can assemble the cape at. Dear God, make it stop! All this grief, and I've yet to mention posing the damn thing. The joints here are these special Reveltech joints, which is just a ratchet and a rotation. You get one here, here, and here. Multiply that by six, and now you're ready to agonize over the endless variations of cape configurations. But to prevent your head from exploding, we'll take a look at three. For the normal cape look, all you'll need is four stems with two of them attached to nubs. Keep in mind there's no correct way to configure the cape, this just works for me. Heck, some of the pictures I took at the beginning of this filming session contradict what I'm showing right now. The panels don't peg into each other, so you'll just have to rely on gravity and dumb luck to make it stay put if you don't poke your eyes out first. Ah! Shit. Be careful when handling, please. You might find that all the plastic from the cape is weighing Batman down, which is why you get a Reveltech stand to prop him up. You get a claw that can hold the figure that way, but I prefer to just put it directly into the utility belt. A hinge joint hinge joint allows you to adjust the stand. And you might want to tighten the screws for our next configuration, something I like to call the... Beautiful spread. I recommend switching out the default fists for these included open hands. It'll make the pose that much more convincing. And to point out something that you can clearly see, the cape is kind of a mess to handle. But if you get it set up properly, it's a beautiful mess. Just like my upload schedule. Oh, straight up stole that from an Instagram comment. Leave a comment down below and I might even steal your idea. While the cape is gappy as all hell, some of you in the comment sections of my social media pages, links in the description, offered up the brilliant idea that the cape looks torn up by bullets from a gunfight. Definitely not a perfect justification, but I'll take anything to validate the two hours of figuring this formation out. Dear God, make it stop! If you look past the bullet holes and the Revel Tech joints, it's, uh... I actually really like it. And now, for our final cape configuration, my least favorite. For this one, you'll have to switch out these open hands for these special cape-pulling hands. 
And this is my least favorite because there's really no way to make it flow properly. Even the official images are barely pulling it off. Nice that you have the option, but I tend to put these to the side. And now let's put this whole damn cake to the side. I haven't even talked about the rest of his accessories. In addition to all the previously mentioned hands, you get a pair of grabby hands. These allow the figure to hold this cleanly painted grapple gun. He could also hold this pointy yet plain looking batarang. You also get a pair of extra Revel Tech joints for the shoulders just in case. Thank you. And our final accessory, a right hand with the grapple gun sculpted into it. A gun that's been fired, that is. I think the instructions say you can hang it off of places, but I don't know if it's strong enough to hold everything up. With all these interesting accessories and that cold-hearted bitch of a cape, you could pull off some ridiculously action-packed poses, which of course would be impossible without a uh, ball joint at the head and the base of the neck, can't look up that far and look down that far, the exorcism of Bruce Wayne, hinge joint at the shoulder pads, hinge joint here, hinge joint here, sliding joint allows the shoulder to move forward, bend at the elbow, ball joint here, up and down at the wrist, chest crunch. I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit! Or your ratchet joint. <coughs> Chest can pivot and rotate, which is technically a waist joint. Hinge joint at the utility belt, little bit of up and down. Ball joint at the hips, can kick that far and move back that far. Really good spread. Get that thigh rotation working and it's straight up beautiful. Bend at the knee, ankle moves up, pivot, rotation, and a toe bend. Say what you will about the cape, the figure itself is really fun to pose. He feels very nice to hold with solid joints, solid range, solid, solid. The size of the figure is also pretty solid. Here's DC Collectibles Animated Batman, Animated Batman Version 2, Animated Joker, Madoka Godzilla Prime, and the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Swivel. Spider-Man. There's no denying that maneuvering the cape is a little more than annoying, at least at first. But if you could tolerate it enough to really learn how to do it without wanting everything to end, the resulting dynamic poses are worth it. Couple that with a great Batman design that's well articulated, and I could say with the completely clear conscience that this figure is amazing. Make no mistake though, you will need to take the time to learn the cape. I guarantee that your first fumbling will be filled with frustration, and even then, the torn up gappy look won't be everybody's cup of tea. But if it looks like it's your cup of tea, I highly recommend that you pick them up. At Hobby Link Japan, if you've done any online shopping for Japanese figures, you most likely know about this store. As for me personally, I've been shopping at HLJ for years, so you could imagine I was super excited when they approached me to be their shill. And then I completely messed it up by not releasing this review for three months after receiving the figure. Oh well! Please leave a like on this video to pay respects for my Hobby Link Japan partnership. It was fun while it lasted. What's wrong with you? Yes!